Hi, in this tutorial, as I told you earlier on, that we're going to be learning about how you can read the values from the input fields and then put them in variables and then display them in the console. So that will going to be the only change in this example. Now we're going to be switching back to our coding environment. And we will going to be now declaring a couple of variables of type string. So I'm going to be calling one of them username and the other one I'm going to be calling password. Now before I display the output to the console environment, I'm going to simply type username equals to and instead of displaying the un.txt in the console, I can basically store it right within the variable. So it's a very simple procedure that you can find in any programming language. We still do the same thing. If you are familiar with vb.net or c -sharp, you know exactly how to read the text property of an object. So we're going to be following something very similar. The only difference over here in this environment is that the console or the coding environment is in Visual Studio and the development environment is in Unity. So that's why we have to tie the objects. Otherwise, if it was all in the same environment like the way we do it in Visual Studio, we would not have to do this extra step. So other than this extra thing, everything will going to be exactly the same way. So now, instead of saying un.txt, I will actually use the name of my variable that I want to display of type string. And I will going to now over here display the password string. So let's save the changes. Let's switch over to the Unity. And let's run this game. And I'm in the console. Let me put in a username. Again, Professor. But this time, instead of Saad, just so that you can see it's a different one, I'm going to put in my last name, Yusuf. And I'm going to click Login. As soon as I do that, you will notice that the text changes to logging in, it is disabled, and right here you get exactly the same output. The username and the password that I entered are the usernames and the password that it is currently displaying. So this is how you can read any variable, any value from a text field, input field, into a variable. Now in the next tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a form, and I'm going to teach you how you can read numeric values because the, you may have to do one extra step when you read numeric values versus having to read string values. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Thank you, and have fun gaming.